wonderful Sunday morning it is worship time. It is November 27th, 2022. It's the last Sunday of this 11th month. I hope you're waking up with joy and strength and the glory of the Lord within you. Yes. I don't know what you're facing. Maybe you have the end of the weekend blues, but no, no, no. Let's look with anticipation with what the Lord is going to do for us this very day. And I used to have this as a model. If this is my last day, I will live this day like it's my very last. I'll count my many rich blessings along life's path. I got another day, an opportunity to live for God and be happy. I'll appreciate each moment. The great and the small, taking nothing for granted, thanking God for all. Why? Because I got another day, an opportunity to celebrate, to live for God and be happy. And then it says, well, this is a song that was written many years ago, but it goes through the numbers, 1 through 24, to represent the hours, the horas in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, all the way to bank day. Uno, bank day, dos, bank day, tres, bank day, cuatro. 24 hours to be happy, 24 hours in his glory. Yeah, I hope we don't have to sing Spanish or whatever language because the song of the Lord could be in your heart. Maybe you can't speak. Maybe you don't have a voice. Maybe you have a sore throat, but you still can meditate on the goodness of the Lord. Woo! Yes, indeed. John 7 says, my doctrine is not mine. These are the words of the Lord. Listen, your life is not yours. It is hidden in the Lord. Your schedule, your agenda, what you think you have planned for the week, no. None of it is yours. It's all the Lord's. So you all might as well just submit, surrender, and recognize that it's all about him. I was just listening to a Jonathan McReynolds song. I will make room for you, right? Whatever my schedule, whatever my goals, no, it's all about the Lord. It's about him because he's the giver of every beautiful, perfect gift, everything. So we go to the father of lights. You're going to see a lot of lights during the season. I still have my lights on, Christmas lights, holiday lights. Look, be reminded of the father of lights and you have him in you if you are twice born throughout 365 days a year we do not just wait to the last month and a half of the year so let your light so shine yes well jesus said it's not about me but his that sent me and that's the same for us he's going to send us to places today or he's going to tell us to stay put at ease or attention wherever know that the lord will be glorified in you as long as you keep him first he that speaketh of himself seeketh their own glory when you're like oh it's about me it's about oh what i'm going to accomplish no you seek your own glory no you seek the glory of the lord when you put him first and keep him first but he that seeketh his glory the lord's glory that sent him an assignment the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him or her. So that's the priority. And in verse 37, if you thirst, if any man or woman, boy, girl, teen, thirst, let him come unto me, the Lord, and drink. He promises to create a spring within us. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his or her belly shall flow rivers of living water. Woo, rivers of joy. Flooding my soul. Heard that recently? Yes, yes. The Lord is one. And that's a promise in Isaiah, is it 58? Such a beautiful, yes, 58, 11. And the Lord shall guide thee right as he's going to dispatch us and send us out and away today as the sun is coming up as it is rising and the promise is not only will he 
show us the way and point in the direction, but he will satisfy thy soul in drought, right? With so many needs going on out here, he will make fat thy bones. He will strengthen us and thou shalt be like a watered garden. We don't see the sprinklers right now in November. We don't see the water hoses and the people watering their lawns. No, but we're going to be like a well-watered garden and like a spring of water, right? That reservoir is going to be within us. That source is in us. And guess what? Your waters will not fail because we are connected to the life giver. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? So wake up with the anticipation. No matter what happens today, know that the Lord has a plan. He understands and we can follow him with rejoicing for you know that he'll safely lead you to my heavenly home. Amen. Well, we would have gone to Psalms 58 so that a man shall say verily there is reward for the righteous. Yes, every day we are being rewarded because the Lord is leading us. He's guiding us and we're hearing him. Well done, my good and faithful servant, and well doing while day to day we are still on this side because he is our strength, Psalms 28, and our shield, our heart trusted in him, and we are therefore helped. Therefore, with our heart, we greatly rejoice, and with our song, will we praise him. The Lord is our strength. And he is a saving strength of the anointed. Yes. Woo. Come on, y'all. Wake up and know that the Lord is going to do great things for his people. We are the sheep of his pasture. And, um, hmm. Because you will be first preeminent in our thoughts as we seek you first in your kingdom and everything else will be added because we prioritize your worship your way your truth your light so have your way have your good pleasure in each one of our lives so that you get the glory to honor the worship and father it all belongs to you and Lord we recognize that 24 hours for the rest of our life through eternity. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.